Hello beautiful folks, welcome to our 23rd lesson. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to create a realistic shadow in Photoshop. So we'll just go through the process how you can you know manipulate your photos and just change the background as well as how to get that perfect shadow of the photo which you have cut out and just placed on the another background. So that all process we will just do it in this tutorial. And let's get started guys. Hello everyone and welcome to our new chapter of you know how to creating a realistic shadows in Photoshop. So this is our advanced last week of our you know learning the Photoshop. This is our advanced you know learning techniques which we are showing up in this you know week four, right? So first of all, guys, here we here is the model photo or which we want to you know select the photo and create a shadow. So first of all, all you need to do is just select the photo, right? with the help of you know quick selection tool or whatever tools you can use to select the subjects or the model right <laughs> and just right click on it and select a duplication of the layer so I have made already a duplication of the image so this is the background in which I am gonna just transfer this model to here so what I will do is just press ctrl A to select all Ctrl C to copy and just I'll paste it inside here by pressing Ctrl plus V Right, so guys now here we are going to create a realistic shadows, right? So all you need to do is first of all we will just decrease the size of the model Over here. Let's just place this Now you can see this one is looking kind of Perspective and everything is looking kind of perfect. I guess right here the next thing we are going to do is first of all we will create a dark shadow over here so what we will do is let's create a new layer below the model layer right select the brush tool normal brush tool and make sure you have selected the black color on the foreground and just paint in the way where you want to create shadow right suppose we want to create on this right side the shadows so what we will do is just add a little bit of you know shadows over here just like this way right now change the blending mode to overlay sorry we will just change the blending mode to multiply and decrease the opacity of it just like this way and here the next thing we are going to do is just click on this model layer right now right click on it select the blending options now here just go to this drop shadows right so this is the thing which we have to understand or learn that is drop, drop shadows now now just select the drop shadow and here just move the angle in the direction where you want to create the shadow simple right so just make a soft light if you want to create a soft shadow like that you can just totally do increase or decrease the opacity from here let's just keep it this and just hit ok so as you can see i have created the shadow layer that is with the help of blending options you can see the shadows right but here it is not looking kind of original or realistic so we are going to fix it so how we will fix it now just on the effect right click on it and select a create layer and just hit ok so it will create one another layer that is of a shadow in a different layer mode now all you have to do is that just right click on it and before doing right click let's just move the shadows by pressing the ctrl T button and we are going to place this somewhere over here right on this position we are gonna place this in this direction so as you can see 
this one is looking kind of pretty perfect I guess alright so as you can see we have created the shadows on this portion right so let's just keep it on this portion also let's decrease it let's just place it somewhere over here all right now this one is looking kind of very perfect so what else we can do is we are going to just go to the filter select the blur and make the gaussian blur and just make the shadows to more softer and just hit ok and reduce the opacity of this layer just over this so as you can see here guys this one is literally looking very realistic and original right so this is how you have to create a shadows and the next thing we are going to learn that is a very professional thing if the shadow is behind the model then the light should come on front side right so what we can do is just create a new layer this is the model layer create a clipping mask on it select the brush tool now select the orange tone or kind of creamy tone now we will create a light on the side of this image with the help of this brush tool this is how you have to create this light effect on the image just like this way so that you can see that the sun is actually coming from that position right now we will change the blending mode to screen or you can also add it to soft light but i'll just recommend it to do the screen process so as you can see your hand is actually glowing which is a perfect thing right now the next thing we are going to do or learn here we are going to add some more let's decrease the opacity of the layer and we are going to just make it on this portion let's again decrease it to around 10 percent just paint that white shadows over here as you can see this one is literally looking so cool you can also paint on the nose region and anywhere else if you really want but this one is pretty perfect and here now let's create a new layer select the brush tool and here we are going to create a perfect realistic sun so that your photo would match your photo match with the actual model and create a sunlight so let's change the blending mode and create a screen as you can see we have created this again just go to the gradient from the adjustment layer and from here we are going to select the white color just hit ok now we will change it to radial you can also reverse the process but i don't recommend you from here you can just press by alt key and press one more slider and here we will just make it kind of white is effect and just hit ok so as you can see we have perfectly made a perfect white effect on the image with the help of radial now you can just change the direction now you can just change the blending mode to screen and press ctrl t you can't do that process over here just right click on it and select the rasterize layer delete the layer mask and we will create this sunlight on this portion and just hit ok you can just reduce this haziness from the photo with the help of eraser and here is the one more thing which we have made that is a screen process right press ctrl t from the keyboard and we gonna place this over here so this is really making your photo more creative and shadow now you can add a filter also to your photograph so
सो लेट्स जस्ट ऐड द सिनेमैटिक फिल्टर और एक क्वाट ऑन वट एवर यू वन एड यू कैन टोटली एड इट दिस इज टोटली अप टू यू गाइस So there are a lot of presets I have already made with the help of this tool. So you can use them, and I'll also give you the most powerful presets of all time with this course, right, guys? So you can just download it for free. So let's just select teal and orange, or let's select the pure teal and orange. So there are a lot of presets already present so you can just select any of the presets out here so i have made this you can also always you know decrease the opacity of this just a bit to around 25 percent to make it look more realistic effect so as you can see we have perfectly done our you know making a realistic shadows to your photos you can still decrease the opacity of this layer this is also according to you and totally up to you so as you can see from a normal photo to a creative perfect shadow is photo we have made this photo so i hope you have learned this how to create a realistic shadows in photoshop so see you in the next video or next tutorial we will learn how to you know do a camera press a camera raw filter in depth so today that's it for today see you in the next video guys till then guys be creative and be awesome